everybody, it's your Crafty Camp Counselor Lindsay back with another craft camp for you. So during this whole pandemic and lock-in, a lot of people have been turning to painting rocks and leaving them outside for everyone to see on their walks, which I think is a super fun idea. And one of the things that I do at camp a lot is I do rock bugs. And sometimes I have the kids make their little habitats or homes so if they decide they want to keep them in the house it's like they have a pet rock but you could also put it outside in your garden or whatever so my sample bug is my little ladybug okay so we're going to apologize for that um, I'm going to show it in separate steps okay so for this you'll need paint red white black if you're gonna do a ladybug obviously you could do a bee or some other little beetles if you want um, but ladybugs are really good for our gardens and um, because they eat a lot of the little bugs that eat our plants and our vegetables so they're really good creatures to have around okay so for this red white and black you need a clean flat round rock um, I obviously have four because I'm going to show you different steps. Paint brushes, uh, you can use googly eyes or you can draw eyes on it. Uh, so if you use the googly eyes, glue sticks, okay? Um, so for this, you'll take your clean, make sure you wash it with soap and then dry it, okay? Because if it's all dirty, the paint won't really adhere to it, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint it white. Just the top part so you don't have to paint the under part. This will help the colors when you paint them be more pronounced. Okay, so you don't really have to do, just do one layer, right? Make sure you go around the edges. And this is why I put a towel underneath it because this is acrylic paint too not tempura to make sure it stays because you know outside if it's living outside to withstand the rain and whatever other weather we're having a lot of wind right now okay so one layer around and now I have a white rock okay so the next thing would be to take our painted white rock let me move this one forward our painted white rock and we're going to do, and I call it a twofer. We're gonna make his little head and the shape for his, the back of him, and these are his wings, right? So I'll do, let's do red first. I have two shades of red. I decided I didn't like the lighter red, so I did a darker red also. So decide where you want the front to be and the back, and we're just gonna do the same outline okay this way we have it okay and then we can color in the red now make sure you use a fair bit of paint because again you want it to last and you want it to cover any imperfections in the rock, cover up the white, but again, the white will help it make it stand out better because if you just were to paint on the rock, the paint would probably get more absorbed directly into the rock. And obviously I used a pretty dark gray rock, so my red would probably be pretty muted if I didn't put the white underneath it. Okay, so there's the one, and then I'm going to do the other side. I'm just trying to fill in the holes and the empty spaces. And ladybugs, they have these bright colors and patterns on them to say to any potential predators, I don't taste very good whether they do or not, who knows, but that's one of their mechanisms to help keep them safe. Okay, so 
I have the red painted. And I'm going to take the black and we're going to go on a line right here. This is the back of him, right? Fill that in. And then down the middle. And again, I'm showing you this in sets because you need because it's paint, you need to allow it have time to dry before you moved on to the next set of things. Okay, so we're just going to fill him in really quick with the black. And now you have the basis for your ladybug. I'm going to move him over and I'm going to take my already pre-made one and I'm going to add my googly eyes onto the front of him with my glue. Plop one. Make sure you have a fair bit of glue so it stays. Okay, and don't mess with them because obviously they need to dry, but there's his little face. Okay, next thing we're going to do is this. we're going to do his antenna. So the tip of your paintbrush, get it black, and then we're just going to go from above his eyes out and above his eyes. if they look a little different but and then and then we're gonna do his spots and they can be all different size spots so little spot bigger spot bigger spot another little spot another little spot Do his other side, and they don't have to be symmetrical. You can have different patterns on both sides. Okay, and just like that, we have a little rock ladybug. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you make lots of little rock bugs to plant in your garden or put outside on the sidewalk for everyone to see. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.